I'd made my way to the part of town Buzz lived in, just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirit a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. Morning. Password? Fidelio. Hello there. Greetings, traveler. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Interesting interior design choices. Why, thanks for noticing. A little eclectic to be sure, but clients seem to appreciate it. You travel a lot, don't you? I can see you've been hitting a lot of the gift shops. Oh no, I avoid those like the plague. Only authentic stuff for me. Shipping is a pain, though, believe you me. So, uh, what about this Olmstein character? Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes, yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. I understand he is some kind of authority in occultism. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Well, that went nowhere. What does he look like? What's his deal? You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have. And yet... It's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you, yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Bob is, well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um, volatile, uh, inconsistent, vibrantly fluctuating, inevitably equivocal. So we're just listing fancy words now. Do you have a picture of him? Is he on, uh, what you call it, the, the social, uh... Media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's... He's undescribable. A true mystery. Not that you'd care, but none of that helped. Like, at all. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname The Butcher? Oh, no, no. The Butcher... The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to, uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about the Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be into god-awful, unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be the Butcher, or at least I don't think so. Getting on to something else. Wait, before that, there is something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, uh, I touched something called the, uh, Shining tra Trapeze... Tra trapeze... The Shining Trapezohedron! Yet, yet you stand here before me, so it's true. You have the Haunter's Mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliché at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers come great dark responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Tenebrous forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really a surprise, to be quite honest with you. So, how's the voodoo business going these days? You know, can't really complain. A possession here, a curse there. It's really picked up with all the weird cults running around lately. Yeah, gonna be digging into a lot of that soon. About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer 
into a receptor of sorts. Great, now I'm a receptor. A way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power, it boggles the mind. Hmm, yeah, it does sound kinda useful. Kinda like a superpower, so I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower, it's a dark gift and it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I uh, like gifts. I can uh, make my hand glow on command too. Yeah, that's pretty rad. I'm in the need of some robes to attend the Fishmouth Festival. Think you can help out? The Fest? Whatever would possess you to want to go there? Word of dispassionate advice, don't. Those are bad, bad people, if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. Can't really back out now. So, can you help with the robes? I sure can. You're gonna need a fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, three tufts of recently shed koala fur. Anything else? A cemetery caretaker's liver, voluntarily donated. What else? Uh, you know those fish that kind of blow up into like spiky spheres every once in a while? Uh, what are they called? Puffer fish? Yeah, well, one of those. Well, not for the robes. I just really always wanted one. Anything else? Male alligators' baby teeth, but they have to be in pristine condition, otherwise they're useless. Oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Okay, I've heard enough. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Can I just, uh, have it? No, uh... Fetch quests or anything? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated at last year's Supernatural Society costume ball, but I doubt it would hit as hard this year. It's in the chest over there. Let me unlock it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're, you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. So, how do I look? Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then, thanks again. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute, that's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Uh, I, I've been traveling a lot. No, no, I mean, you don't stink! Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be led inside Fishmouth during that unholy festival. Like a couple of skunks getting frisky in a garlic patch? Quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of, I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz, too, while you're at it. It's a right glimmer and dame sat down at that bench there. Hey there, what's a nice girl like you doing in this part of town? Charmer, huh? Not really. I try, but I get called out on it a lot. I'm done. Well, dressed like that. Uh, I'm honestly not an evil cultist. It's for a costume event, carnival of, of sorts. I'm Margot. It's nice to meet you, Don. Yeah. Likewise, got uh, business with the voodoo gentleman? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a private investigator. I ask questions for a living. Sometimes I do it without even noticing. Just stop by to thank VG for, um, turning me on to a better path, I guess. Extra straight? No, just talk some sense into me. Let's just say I no longer want to murder my husband. Well, ex-husband now. And I got rid of my toxic lover. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm sure you deserve a good guy for a change. I'm sure I do. So, what are you doing these days? 
I, uh, go over the librarian kid with a magic evil book and a talking cat. Just trying to nab this psycho who wants to bring the world to its knees. You're friends with Buzz? Did he pull a fast one on me? Well, it was for the best in the end, so tell him I said thanks. You get around, Margot. Uh, things just happen. Hey, Don. What do you say once you're done with all that? You and me get a coffee. I'd like that, Margot. Then it's a date. Catch you later, Don. Wait, uh, how do we get in touch? I thought you said you were a detective. Smooth. See you when the world is saved, kid. Big D Street. We're getting quite original with the street names these days, huh? Wonder who this guy was. It's a bust of some tentacle mugged thing. This is what the taxpayer's money goes to. This. It's a whole lot of fish in there. Nah, I, I think I can just walk in. No need to climb it. I want to stay in the area. I don't have the time to be traipsing through dorms. It's another one of those dubious cultist signs. The weird sign does nothing for me. There's some sort of weird resistance to the Haunter's mark, but I'm not that interested anyway. Nah, I don't want to have anything to do with that freaky sign. That is one horrible way of advertising your merchandise. Fishmouth's own. Doesn't say so, but it's uh, obviously a fishery. Nah, that thing stays here as far as I'm concerned. It's the owner of this fine place of business. It's some kind of refrigerating unit. There's a pipe leading up into the ceiling. Probably something needs to be real chilly like up there, but this unit doesn't seem to cut the mustard. There's a hatch in the ceiling, apparently holding back something incredibly gross. There's a foul-smelling liquid dripping from it. Ugh. An assortment of fish and other sea life. Well, X life now. Morning, brother. 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 Okay. Yeah, I need fish. Sure thing, brother. What type and how much? Type doesn't really matter. Need hundreds of them. Rotten. Oh, that's suspicious. What you need them for? What do you care? I got the milk. I can cover it. Can't sell your rotten fish, sir. Sir? What happened to brother? Anyone can wear a robe. And when they start making dubious demands... How do I know you ain't one of them health inspectors? Do I look like a health inspector? Maybe you're undercover. Yeah, undercover health inspectors. That, that's a thing. I ain't risking my license revoked. 
Looks like where the fishmonger lives. Brother. Mm, I don't know about that. What's uh, the deal with the hanging chain? For all due respect, sir, that's none of your business. I detect a pretty strong smell coming from up there. Could it, perchance, be where you keep all the merch that's gone bad? Now that's presuming a whole lot, sir. Not exactly a refrigerated environment if we go by old factory clues. What old factory? There's a smell, Brother Fishmonger, and nasty stuff dripping from the ceiling. That's my damn business, if you don't mind. Aw, oh, come on, we, uh, we, we, we bros, you know it. I straight up and down don't. Say, you look familiar. What? We all look the same to you Darkamites, don't we? Racist. Racist? Ha, <laughs> not at all. There's just something about your, uh, your features, your eyes, maybe. You think I don't know the stereotypes y'all throwing round about us? Fish face, bug eye, and all that sort. Well, I'll have you know, before you make any kind of ignorant comment about my eyes, I've got a sleeping condition, all right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Is that bad, are you, are you taking anything for that? Yeah, it's bad. And no, drugs don't work. It's a smart man what stays away from drugs. Gee, thanks for the inside. Huh. Do you, uh, take sleeping pills? Ain't working for me. I can take a fistful and it'll be like chugging some Joe. Yeah, dog. Life ain't at ease if you ain't got those Z's. Yeah, like you give a rotten fin about my problems. Just trying to empathize here. Do you happen to have sleeping pills around? Yeah, got mine right here. They're yours if you want them. They're no use to me. So what do you do about your sleeping problem? You sure are curious. Well, it can't hurt to tell you. Been experimenting with hypnosis and suggestion lately. Hypnosis? Really? Does it work? Well, it ain't been long, so I don't really know as yet. Doc been suggesting stuff to me for some sessions, and the payoff's still to come. What's the payoff? He calls it the Catalyst. It's a secret spoken command. Supposed to make one fall asleep instantly. So, did you get yours? Sure did, but I'm scared to use it to be honest. Doc says I might sleep for three days straight. So, out of curiosity, what's your secret command? Doc says I ain't supposed to share that with anyone. Why, it'd cause chaos in my personal and professional life, it would. Yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? Plus, if I told you, I'd just fall asleep instantly, and then it'd be all awkward, wouldn't it? I suppose it would be, yeah. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Fuzzy cushion. Huh, <laughs> that ain't it. Baby butt. Cute, but it ain't that one. Angel tummy. Why, was, was this? I was all sleepy all of a sudden. But wait, could it be just cause of you boring me to sleep with your cutesy guessing game? Ugh, you had me there for a second. <laughs> Never mind. So, how do you find Darkum? It's all right, I guess, but their smell just, ugh. That's why I mostly keep to my shop. Smells like home in here. Oh, yeah, fish mist is gonna be a blast. Catch you later. Picking it up won't do anything, but there might be some use for it. I'm reluctant to use it on him. Okay, scared to use it on him. Yeah! 
nothing. Just throw them all in there and lock the hatch. We'll get uh, rid of them one of these nights, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess it's a fish scale. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not interested in weighing anything. Oh, that is foul. Oh my. Oh, you god. I'm not going anywhere near it. Your secret command is bubble wrap. Poor devils. How undignified. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Bubble wrap. How's ya? Huh, it worked. I have to admit I had serious doubts, but it, uh, it actually did. And it was time to get my robes dirty, so to speak. So, this was it. Stinky old fish meth. Smell-wise, it was probably the fishery I'd just come from times a thousand. I was blending in like a professional and itching to sink my teeth into whatever Fishmouth had to offer. Except the local food. Well, this is just... I don't even want to know. Really, really not interested in what he has to say. That's uh, one way of approaching literature, I guess. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. I have no idea why she's doing that, but it's uh, kind of fun to watch. I don't want to break her concentration. Hey! It's a door blocking my access to who knows where. A welcoming looking couple of local residents, I'm sure. Greetings, uh, uh, brother and sister. Hello and welcome to the festival, fellow believer. Forget all your worries and pray they're gone. But I compliment you on your smell, brother. Oh, uh, thanks. Just a uh, curiosity. Is it the socks? Uh, yeah, okay. It's the socks. That's what I thought. Enjoy the festival. This chick doesn't seem phased by the regurgitation onslaught going on behind her. Other than the expected seafood, I detect a nice healthy addition of carrots to his diet. These guys are whispering to each other in some language that's completely alien to me. Someone's really enjoying themselves up there. It's another voodoo guy by the looks of it. I'll just not bother them this time. Oh. Hey, it's a lady cultist. It's 
It's a bearded cultist hanging out by that trash can. That guy's really passionate about Father Dagon. This weirdo is really interested in what's going on in the distance. I'm pretty sure that's Gustav. It's a non-festive looking dude, just chilling over there. This bozo's out cold, feet in the air, underwear flying in the wind. Disgraceful. He also dropped all his eggs. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. That is the definition of rear window. Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part. As an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. Oh? Is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh. Not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, we're totally changing our lives around. You mentioned changing your lives around. Yup, we're going vegan, baby. Oh, that's uh, nice, I guess. Concerned about uh, animal welfare and the environment, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, that too, kind of. It's just, it's the end thing to be, you know? But we'll see how that goes, you never know. We might just go back to steaks afterwards. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Going from vegan to meat eater? You just go from being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat to being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat. Works both ways. The beauty of symmetry, bro. Although... Yeah? Makes you think, you know. Sometimes I just sit and wonder, what gives us the right to kill and eat other beings just because they ain't human, you know? Because they can't reason like we do. So what? Doesn't take reasoning to know you don't feel like being gutted and eaten. No, I'm saying. That went dark all of a sudden. You telling me you never consider these things? An almost lifelong diet of steaks and cold hot dogs is a hard thing to leave behind, I guess, but, uh... Yeah, you know, they sort of make an interesting point there. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth discussing these issues, you know? But discussing takes a lot of energy. And me, myself, I'm famished. Now where's Azanath with those fish and chips, though? You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No. But, uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all-up-in-your-business wives, you know? She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah! I love that she gives me my personal space. 
What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and living my life in my time to myself. Tell me another thing you like about her. You know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird, and I'm too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, he's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro. Seriously, I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. I'll, uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. And don't indulge too much, you hear? Ha ha ha! This baby ain't sailing anywhere ever again. Hey up there. Go oh, stop. Man, I love Azanath. Man, I love her. And don't drink like a fish again. The eggs need to be there in time for the ritual. I don't think I want to. We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop pushing. I'm gonna let him get his rest. Some kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Next to the reef. That creepy, horn-shaped reef is giving me the chills. And... What are... He looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. I'm leaving him alone. It is time! Brothers! It is time! That's where it all begun. That cursed place of all wickedness where the deep water starts. Gator Hill. She dropped down to a bottom no solid line can tick. Say it, God, and watch him take to the water. Yeah! Yeah! Father Dagon, take them in his arms! You ain't ready for the water yet, Eustace. An incredibly beat up car, desolately leaning on the sidewalk. This thing isn't starting anytime soon. Hello there, brother. Uwangba, Papa Le. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I had no idea. I got nothing to say. I don't care enough to find out. Uh, one more isn't gonna kill me.
Everything okay up there? All right then. I can just talk to him. Go away! Can't you see who we're talking here? Rude. So are you say, uh, Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are our... Uh, biggest problem! They are our biggest problem! And it has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, w w with their help, uh, we shall never... Uh, achieve anything! We shall never achieve anything! Or no, any other uh, gods! Look around, brothers! Cast your, your eyes on the person next to you! What do you say? Well, I see a group of... Losers! A group of losers! Like I've never uh, seen before! And our uh, numbers are always r rising! Make no mistake! Our uh, en en endeavor is a. Uh, uh, Waste of time! Our endeavor is a waste of time! Fear us! Uh, world! Take a good, uh, hard look at us! For we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but. Um, um, but. Um... Lemon cake and cotton candy! Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep! Uh, we are uh, uh, the the next in in, in line uh, uh, for um. All right, that got him a little riled up. Brothers, uh, brothers, wait! It, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean. They're a bit more excited now. They gon' judge me! They gon' judge me! <laughs> nah, it wouldn't help in any way. He's also got a problem with ending his sentences. That's Brother Jan! He joined our elite gatekeeping squad recently. Just like these other brothers, he's taken a vow of silence. But as you can see, he's still rocking out. Internally, as it were. Let's not and say we did. Brother Jan's part of my elite squad that's... That's Brother David. A member of my elite squad of gatekeepers. Not much is known about him. This guy truly is a mystery. No point in talking to Brother David. He took a vow of silence when he joined our elite ranks. Let's not and say we did. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, huh? So are you, Malusco? You're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. Oh yeah? Good! Chief Piovera specifically said don't let Malusco in. Forget about it! Wait, 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 wait. Me? Molusco? Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here! 
Well, who are you then? Pescatori? Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good. You're finally here. I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Oh yeah? Tell me what the meal is then. May Father Dagon forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal, the ultimate feast for the dreamer. Damn butcher, cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofer. It ain't natural. We talking GMOs here or... Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. For Dagon indeed. We've let him down, brother. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh taker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh, wow. We know that for sure. Ain't that why you're here? To find out for sure? The elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone. But go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. You can go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piovra. See you guys. Salute! Uh, evening, brother. Hello. Anything else? Guess not. Later. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. Oh, got a really rotten egg. Oh yeah, squishy goodness. And, uh, a boot. Okay. There. Even more mad. We're getting there. You're mine. That's a little too radical, I'm afraid. It's a teenage girl just hanging out near that wheelbarrow. Hey, kid. Hey yourself, you stupid cultist. Dagon judge you, child. Yeah, yeah, take your Dagon and... Let's, uh, maybe not go there. You dare disrespect the cult? What cult? Um, the, uh, the fish cult. Don't you mean the order, you dum-dum? Gosh, they'll just let any mouth breather in your little Girl Scouts club. Yeah, um, we've been, uh, lowering our standards, uh, lately. And there you stand, living proof. So, how's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? What's with the wheelbarrow? Nice conversational spark up, Square. A square? Me? 
Yeah, man. You're like, like, square squared. Sick burn, dude. I know, right? Well, you do have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so? Can't be cool next to a wheelbarrow, because you said so, Pops? Sheesh. Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool kids. Yeah, don't say. Huh, <laughs> yeah, alright. I never was a cool kid. I guess I never really fit in, you know? What? Seriously? Yeah. Must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. Just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I... I feel you. Yeah, well, at least I got this. What? These stupid robes? Do they make you feel special, dude? I'm the same man underneath, but... They like me more in these dumb rags, sister. Sister. It ain't the 70s anymore, daddy-o. Anyway, man, whatever flies, you're dirigible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I dig. Far out, bruv. Why are you, uh, hating on the order, though? <laughs> He's all street now. Your nomenclature's all over the place, buds. You guys are a bunch of fish brains for worshipping that imaginary tadpole dad of yours. Uh, he's alright. Yeah, right. Dream on, Pops. Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your, your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. In a minute, how come your dad's not in the order? I don't know, he's not into that mumbo jumbo. I mean, he's cool with the festival. Cause we get to sell a lot of fish to you loonies. Not me, I've come to hate fish. Yeah, ooh, tell me about it. But, we're depopulating these waters, man. What the hell do you people need so much fish for? You should just get as much as you need and stop making such a waste. Can't disagree with that. Look, I have no idea what all the fish are for, honest. All right, the, uh, the secret is. I can only listen to smooth 70s jazz. I know it doesn't sound as bad as it really is, but any other kind of music makes me physically sick. Pop rock makes me erupt into horrible boils, and don't get me started on that dubstep thing. Ugh, those wub wub things put me right in the hospital on more than one occasion. And mumble rap. Jesus, the mumble rap. What a da ba da da ba. Na 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 ba da da ba. Ba da da. Whoa, okay. That's gonna majorly suck. Is that it? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa. Are you serious? That is so cool, oh my god! Yep, it's true. Name's Don. Don Katype. Awesome, I'm Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. So you're not into all the festival stuff, are you, Joey? Gah. I can't stand all these creeps and creepettes swarming around town. This place is horrible enough as is. We don't need extra wackos. Is there, um... I know it sounds dumb, but is there, uh, is there fishy stuff going on in your family? Nah. I mean, I see what you're getting at, but some of these people are just, you know, ugly, I guess. It's not a mutation or anything, I don't think. Well, you get really used to them when you see them walking around every day. I see. I'll catch you later, Joey. See ya, Dawn. Got no time to chit chat. Got a goddamn streets. Have fun now, you hear? Huh. 
Wow, an open barrel. Whoever could resist the primal urge to peek into its dark recess. I've got a rotten egg. Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. And a name tag, Randolph. Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Whew. Well, I guess thanks are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you cultists less lately. What happened that made you more reluctant? One of you socked me square in the face when I weren't looking. That's what. Yeah, no more respect for small businesses. Yeah. Not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Right. Cannibalism. Ugh. I mean, I, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, what could I do you for, friend? Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piava passed out in the armchair over there. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Strange. Oh, uh, never mind. Just my big mouth getting me in trouble again. The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. Trouble? Huh? <laughs> Ura knew that Psycho Butcher was trouble from the get-go, but oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double-crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours, you know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dagon, forgive me for talking out of school, but if that good-for-nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Wouldn't want the dreamer to go hungry, would we? Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears went into raising that thing. Cthulhu for Targon. The Dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level. But this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For Targon. Are there any rooms available? Ugh, I filled the capacity. You don't seem happy about that. Well... Well, let's just say business ain't been as uh, satiating as it could be. So, uh, you're full, but uh, not really, huh? Yeah, that, that's a good way to be putting it, to be sure. Uh. What are your thoughts on the festival? i tell you the truth, it's kind of a disappointment so far. Scrawny cultists, most of them, and always roaming the streets and don't seem to ever go to sleep in their rooms like they're supposed to. I mean, it's a festival. People hardly sleep during these things. Ugh. Oh, they don't, do they? I'll be on my way. It doesn't work and I have no, uh, time to look into it. Well, well, well. Chief Piovra, sleeping off some booze. It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. Does not help. No keys to be seen and I'm not interested either.
come to Papa, little glass. Got myself a glass of oil. Neat. All right. That seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. I think I need something else there first. Joey. You think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon. Something to express myself right. And he's like so against it. Like, all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says, I'm gonna be a fisherman just like he is. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey, Joey. What if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? I have this name tag. Yeah? Never mind. Bad idea. I have this fish hook. Think about it. Fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. Whew, all right then. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? Sure, dude, knock yourself out. Man, this is gonna look so sick. Woot woot. Yeah, uh, maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go... What do you know about the meal? Look, man, I shouldn't either know or be telling you this, but a lot of the fish that my dad and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? No, you square. The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Duh. Oh, oh, so, uh, what is it? Don't know, don't care, and I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you, just saying. Do you know anything about the, uh, the dreamer? Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean, Dagon? Bigger than Dagon, Broham. Much bigger. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps my pop in business, so, you know. Uh-huh. You ever heard of someone called the Butcher? <laughs> Who hasn't? But officially, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on edge than usual, but none of them are right in the head, so who knows, really? Yeah, this place is crazy, no doubt. Later, Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donny boy.
time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Well, here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! Buh. Hard to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, show him good! You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys! Cthulhu for Doggin! All right, I was in. A cold, bluish-green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the Butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. It's a hatch in this, uh, this thing. But it's dark as night inside. Can't reach it. Some kind of container, apparently. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. Let's pop this baby open. All right, got myself a power tool. Huge, huge, huge engine. There's a lever for that. Hmm, nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. You gas up that huge engine through this. Freeze, you ugly cultists! Isn't that assuming a bit too much given how dark it is in here? Push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a hand cannon at you, batty! See, now that is concerning. I don't know that I want to live in a society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a... Would you like for mice to really appreciate you? Uh, uh, what? Um... Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese! I'm not moving. Good, good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultist. I... I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist ropes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator, in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... So here I am, your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. Ooh. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for a... Uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof, can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointing at my noggin. I've got time. Ugh, to make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So... I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? 
buzz. Oh, well, talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kitty can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I, I, I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago, back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you, you bad, bad people! I don't even like fish. I, I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Again, not a cultist, but it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. You really shouldn't be in here alone. What'll your parents think? They think I'm still in my bedroom. I made sure of that. Can I ask where you got that huge gun from? Eh, knocked out some cultist leader in my way in here. Anything else? Uh, maybe later. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Jebediah? A bit too biblical, but yeah, I can see that. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. All right, uh, I, I'm game, I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop, chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Basilla. Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it! It ain't working. That's one impressive, gigantic door. Locked from the inside. Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. It's riveted shut. Dang it. Maybe not on the door itself. Thank God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room and I didn't bring thicker underwear. Ugh. Nothing to report yet. Huh. One's missing. Good day to you, sir and young miss, if day it indeed be. You'll forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. No offense, but uh, who or uh, what are you? Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human-octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. 
Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha! <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basilla, and this guy over here is Don. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. So, Otis, how'd you become an octopus hybrid? I mean, of course, if that's not too painful to discuss. Oh, not at all! Details, I'm afraid, are pretty sparse, and some amnesia seems to be a side effect of the process. I do remember my name was Otis, and I, well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure, but I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. You have a quite the positive outlook on life for a, a talking head. How could I not? I was dead, and now I live! Is there a greater joy imaginable? I think not! That's a refreshingly positive attitude. Thank you! I was always an optimist, and as you can see, good things have happened to me! Indeed. Did you see the butcher? Yeah, did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. Uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Do you know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. You, you don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we are chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens, well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber, and to the right. Nah, can't reach it. It's just junk. I don't need any of it. Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. Not exactly ready to carry. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. I'd gotten the engine to run. At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are. I don't want to touch any of them. Locked from the inside. I 
I'm gonna call it Alice. Now I'll get back to you, Otis. As you wish, dear sir! Hey kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but... I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down! That's a promise, Priscilla. It's been a while, but here goes. I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear, I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> All right, here I go. Oh dear! Oh lord! Oh, it's it's all coming back now. The pits, the horrible pits, the non-dries, their horrible gnashing and gnawing, and oh, this is too much to bear. Oh God, what is that? Oh, oh, what do you know? It's a coin. <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great. Oh God, the abominations! Focus, Otis. Focus. <laughs> ah, ah, uh, all right, it's open. Wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Yeah. Yes, C uh, could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh, it appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. But I want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I mean... I guess you're right, but don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Like? Hmm, let's see ya. Why? Why I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's true. Haha, <laughs> see, little one? Always keep a positive outlook. Ew, ow! T just a second. Stepped in some oily thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> Alright, let's see what secrets this place holds. It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something wrong, squirming around. Another pit, another unseen creature writhing at the bottom. Its only feature is a big red button. Looks like this door somehow slides into the wall. No visible handle. A plain, scratched metal panel of sorts. 
it's stuck. Katype's got leverage. Looks like a view of this room from above. And there's a cage hanging overhead. I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. Experiments are not. Scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I was shaken. Yeah, I might need these. I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum and I'd expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but, but this wasn't that. This was, well, Colorful. Colorful in a way that makes a Joe uneasy and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. This must be the butcher's desk. A strange, strange device. And there it was, a loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. A painting of a wing. Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. Seems to be out of power. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. Ugh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood-red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. They're no use to me. It's definitely a control panel. Controlling what? That remains to be seen. Some kind of control panel 
looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. It's a stylized painting of a human head. Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. It's an uneducated guess, but judging by the number of cables coming out of this thing, it might be what powers everything in here. I'd love to, but I see no apparent way of turning it on. Food is plentiful, and the little one grows steadily. No need to perforate it. I don't see an opening to stick it into. I've put a nice round hole in it. Alright, got myself a shock-free switch. That's way too general. Yes! Power's back on. You will learn to fear the no idea how to use this. I gotta say, I find the aesthetic pleasing. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. I'm not really into exploring huge chasms with no bottom to be seen. I want to operate it so bad. And what did we do? Trusted the butcher, put our faith in the carnifex, double-crossed by that, that freak! 
denying the dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. I don't want him to know I'm here. Kooky, freakish cultists. All that prey, all the blood and sweat and tears we put into the crop, wasted on a liar. Can you even begin to imagine what the repercussions will be? Hunter curse you. I cannot. Huh? Hunter. Repent. Repent in the face of Father Dagon. Suffering squids. Those mounds of food we threw into the Kraken's gaping maw. Stars fall on you! Why we... huh? Stars? I he thought these guys were all about us, fish. didn't he? In the face of Dagon, raise his dark name. What will Father Dagon feed the dreamer now? Son of a nebula! Huh? That's strange. Enough of this masquerade! I knew it! Treason! There is but one true god, you fish-loving heathens! And his name is... The Haunter! How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the Dramosahedron! Now you're going to pay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! No, you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! Wh what are you doing? As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. No need cramps. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. 
Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look, water's draining and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke, I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. What sign? And why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign, for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate, if only we had time. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Terribilis. What did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The butcher was definitely in cahoots with... The Starry Knowledge Cult. Doubtful. I don't want to talk about this anymore. As you wish. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula. A constellation. Could be a map. Hmm. Thanks. I'll give it some thought. There. Tell me what you... Could be the... A const... Could be a... Hmm. I've come across terrible things in the Butcher's pits. What were they? It is clear to me that Fishmouth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not since we found that damn Necronomicon. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Olmstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. I don't have time for this. Just a few more questions. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation. A con- Could be a- Hmm. I don't have- I've gotta go. I gotta meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the Butcher is headed and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and- Wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. Hey, kids. He's back! Nice place you've got here, Don! Glad to see you made it alright, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken! Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, peace. Oh yeah? Is he alright? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. 
Sounds like Dad. Uh, can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry, bad flashback. Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Mind control. There was all kind of brain-related imagery in his lab. How else do you control a huge sea creature? As for HK... Half Goofa King? Mind control Half Goofa King? Eh, might only be half right. Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. The Half Goofa? What... what will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind them. The festival. Fishmouth really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order has been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man. Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. The stabilizing element, Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. It makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. None of us really do. I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Uh, constellation? So that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. Still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don's personal I'm not prying into Don's personal files. 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 There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishmouth. There's a bell there too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo. Point what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that uh, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, never returned, apparently. Sounds, uh, encouraging. So we got three bells plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? 
Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of Vlad. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Sarah eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. Doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is gonna be one long trip. Ladies and gents, it's kind of crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and- Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace. How about we take the mountain? Well, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed.